AITA for saying I will call social services if my SIL keeps leaving her child at my place. I, 30F, have a half-brother, Enzo, 40M. We're not very close since we were both raised with our respective mothers, but he has always gone out of his way to help me with anything I've needed. Enzo married his wife, Steph, 33F, two years ago. Steph has a daughter, Alice, 4, with her ex, but has sole custody, and Enzo and Steph have a 7MO son, Teddy. I also have a 3-year-old daughter. Enzo and Steph moved to the city I live in when Steph got pregnant, and since then, Steph developed a habit of showing up at my apartment building unannounced. It became a problem and I talked to both her and Enzo about it and she stopped until she gave birth. Now, she regularly drops by unannounced to leave Alice at my building for babysitting while she has to run errands or something. She's had her carpool drop Alice off at my apartment before. My poor housekeeper is a wonderful woman who has had to deal with Alice arriving unexpectedly while I'm out and I feel terrible about it. I've told the concierge not to let her up and to say no one is in but then I'll arrive to Alice waiting in the lobby, which is not safe and the concierge has told me I can't make them responsible for a child. Steph keeps saying she only does it when she's desperate, but I don't see how she can be that desperate to run errands at least twice a week and frankly, I'm not a nanny if she's desperate she needs to hire some help. I've spoken to Enzo, and he is always extremely apologetic and says he will talk to her, and I believe he does, but he also works during the day and can't police where she is at all hours. I reached my breaking point a couple of days ago when I returned from lunch to find Alice at home, having been dropped off since she had a half day at school. I apologized profusely to my housekeeper who had spent time playing babysitter and called staff, no answer. I called her several times, and then Enzo, who was on a business trip and distraught over the situation. Steph eventually turned up a couple of hours later and I went ballistic. I said if she ever leaves Alice at my building again I will call social services and I will call them every single time she drops Alice off with me until they do something, because this is not my job and she's an irresponsible and neglectful parent. She burst into tears and begged me to help out with Alice, but I said no and reminded her I'd never said yes in the first place, she just kept dumping her kid here. Steph kept trying to guilt trip me, but I was too exhausted and upset about the situation to be receptive and eventually my husband had to tell her to leave. I feel bad because as I said, Enzo has never been anything but the most accommodating person where I'm concerned and maybe treating his wife like that was harsh, but at the same time I chose to have one kid because I don't want another one, Steph can't use my house as a daycare. Was I too harsh?